Hi, welcome to the Maritime Transportation Department. This is a program that's unique for merchant marines, so we get a license that's a U.S. Coast Guard approved credential to drive ships for a living. We also learn how to do all the cargo handling and all of the business end of it for personnel and payoffs on the ship, contracts and such. So in this video, I'm hoping you'll see some of our unique things that we do that are more fun and more practical because it's a very hands-on degree to earn a marine transportation degree. It's a Bachelor of Science. And we also coordinate with Marine Biology License Option, Marine Science License Option, Graduate Programs License Option for people to be able to have kind of a double degree. So you can still have your passion for other parts of the ocean and then still study how to drive ships for a living. So in some of our earlier classes, we work on two specific areas, which is Marlin Spike and ship handling will be in the senior levels. So we start on the deck. Marlin Spike seamanship will be anything with block and tackles, crane operations, how they come together, how they work together. And then we pull on different types of mechanisms here to show them how easy it is to lift a heavy 50 pound weight, as opposed to if we only had one block making it more strenuous to be able to do it. So that's one type of thing that we teach a practical demonstration of, and then we learn how to calculate the force and the physics behind it. So there is a little bit of math, so don't get too intimidated, but we put it to real good use. Um, the other things we have to learn how to do are knot tying. Uh, we have to secure all of our things on the ship's deck so that it doesn't fall overboard or float free if we were to go into the water. So those are some of our freshman classes that we have here. Um, one of the other types, and I'll have to step over here, I'm not sure if we can see it, would be our firefighting. So when you're working offshore out at sea, there is no 911, so we have to be self-sustaining. So we learn how to do firefighting, medical, first aid, up to some basic EMT paramedic type of uh, medical treatment. So we have all sorts of different gear that we do for search and rescue too. And that will go into a junior class to capstone it for fast rescue craft or driving a vessel off the ship to find people. So that's another type of first year class. We have our SCBAs, we have our gloves, the helmets, and it's a one week course that we uh, actually get to do in college station at the firefighting field. Other techniques that we have to learn about is life saving in a rough environment. If you were to fall overboard in the northern latitude, the water is too cold for you to survive. So some of the techniques that we learn about are survival gear. This is what we call a gumby suit, and it will help you sustain life for a much longer period of time in the cold water. Hopefully, you wouldn't have to get in the water and you would use, this is only a portion of it, but we have a full data for the lifeboat. This is a rough release here, releasing here, and we use this to show the students how each of the pieces individually rotate to let go of the locks and then reconnect. So this is just a mock-up for us to show them how it is built. And then out on our dock side, we have a full lifeboat davit, gravity davit, where we can lower it down, it's open, and they can learn how to row together so they can bring the vessel alongside, um, or the lifeboat alongside the vessel, and then also pull people out of the water. Um, another fun thing we do is in the pool, they do get to put these on and jump into the pool and see how buoyant they really are, um, as opposed to just a regular flotation device. And then they also get to learn how to ride a raft. So if they end up having to be into a life raft as opposed to a lifeboat, we get to see some of that stuff too. And then of course we have survival items inside that water, food, um, seasickness pills, uh, basic mirrors for how to reflect and uh, get people's attention. So there's a lot of more detail to that. Those are all the freshman classes that we basically have for, for the first year. So into our first year of cruises, every summer at sea, we do a uh, sea term that capstones the previous year. There's three of them in, for each of the license option programs. As you can see, these gentlemen are learning how to navigate by putting together corrections and basic voyage planning. They start with their freshman year with terrestrial navigation. Their second year, they'll go into celestial navigation. Third year is electronic navigation, so they can bring in all of the neat gadgets that are uh, new and trendy, like GPS. And then their senior year, they go into the ship handling and maneuvering in the big simulator, which we'll be visiting next. So in here, they are learning how to put all the big picture together for them to finally navigate. So this was a senior class. It's a capstone course. 
where they're learning about bridge resource management. So these gentlemen are coming in and about to receive a pilot and using all of those previous navigation techniques together. It may seem slow, but they're processing a lot of data at once. They are still driving and doing their paperwork and documentation and maintaining a vigilant watch. So after you've seen what you saw, you can look into each of the individual pieces that they were trying to monitor and maintain at the same time. There are the full console, which is in the center, and it repeats all the different types of engine and automation of the machinery on board the ship. So it'll give you revolutions, the direction which you're handing, the speed over ground, and such like that. It also can bring in some of the weather equipment that may be constantly monitored and networked into your monitoring system. Some ships are still on the older types of methods where you have to go read the thermometer yourself and then data process it by hand. Um, on the left over here, you'll see that there's a radar. And that radar is just the same functions as you would see anywhere else. Is it sends out a signal, it hits some kind of harder object, and when it comes back, it displays the dimensions on your screen. So that helps us find out what we shouldn't hit. It doesn't show any kind of depth differences. Um, that would have been found on this main console, but on that one there, it's the land that's peering out above the water or any other objects. And then on the left, we have what's the newest and greatest overlay of our charts onto electronic screen and we can merge the radar to be on top of that and show the land where it really is as to where it's supposed to be depicted in the picture. So there's a cross comparison there of data that has to be maintained and looked at. But through all those we find our way down the channel until we get out to the sea buoy or if we're going to a dock, which is what you'll see on either side here, where we'll start to load or discharge our cargoes. And we do have several classes that they take for dry cargo, roll on, roll off kind of driving equipment, tractors, cars, and such, and then tankers, and a little bit of passenger bustles. So that is pretty much everything really briefly described on what we do. Um, of course, you can always come and visit us if you would like. So along with everything else that you do in life, there are some things that you have to add in to give you a little bit more discipline and a little bit more leadership. So one of our requirements by the federal government is to be part of a regimented group. So as you saw in the video, our students were wearing a uniform. They're part of the Corps of Cadets. And there are some formations, room inspections, um, random drug testing, and um, PT, a little bit of physical training your first year. Since our job is a lot of physical movement up and down the ship, and we are far from port and need medical assistance, we like to help our people learn a healthy lifestyle. So they do have to come in and spend the three years in the Corps wearing the uniform,